Hey guys, I got my Ned Foss pocket knife today. I am so impressed with this company. I mean, for what you're paying, you are getting so much. It's not even funny. Look at the box on this. Look, Look at, at the that. lion on there. Is that not the toughest box ever? Uh, this is not a cheap box. And a lot of times I will look at the box and I can tell a lot about the product before I ever open the box just by the quality of the box. They've actually put a lot into it. The box is thick. It's not cheap. Over and here, it takes a little bit to open it. It's not something that's just thrown together. So let's take a look at this knife and let's see what we see. These are my honest first impressions. Let's open it. First, it's gonna give you, again, a beautiful case. It looks like carbon fiber, and the logo, Ned Foss logo, is on there. Um, right here, you can tell this is the oversized zipper, which I always like, and I love that they have a little pull string on there. Let's look at this knife together. Um, they're giving you a type of wrench here which is always uh, appreciated. Uh, so there's something that can be adjusted on this knife. A beautiful cleaning cloth. Again, you're going to have that logo of the lion there and the Ned Foss. And again, this is an up-and-coming company. Uh, we're familiar with certain knife brands. Uh, if you can pick one of these up while they're cheap, you probably want to do that because I could see these going for four and five, six, eight hundred dollars uh, when you look at a company like Benchmade, they started selling very inexpensive knives, but over time became very, very, very popular. And look, oh my goodness, at this gem. I mean, look at this. This is just sick. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, there's ball bearings in here. Um, there's some substantial weight to this knife. I love the black on black. Uh, this is like a micro grid, and it actually feels very, very good in your hand. It is a solid, solid knife. There's a pocket a clip here for you, and again, you still have that grid here. Here's where you can adjust it, where the ball bearings are, um, and I like it. You guys ready to flip it? Let me flip it. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. You guys want to see that again? Okay, and it has a locking mechanism, so we can just do that. It's smooth. I'm going to do that again. You guys, I'm just like a kid in a candy store. You ready? I'll do it sideways. Boom. I mean, it is a serious, serious contender in my knife collection. Boom. <laughs> What's funny, men and knives and guns. I mean, we just love this stuff, but check this out. Boom. It's that nice. Okay, so the blade is very, very, very sharp. I'm not messing with that. Yeah, I could put a little bit of a, a stone on there and uh, maybe just touch it up a little bit. Don't need to. You got the logo right here, Ned Foss. Um, Al in place to tighten her up. Beautiful fit and finish. What, from what I understand, it has a titanium coating on that blade. And that blade is made from some superior steel. Now, right here, um, it's it, from this angle, it would look like it's a double-edged blade. But it is not a double-edged blade. And I actually like that right here. You know what I'm saying? So, I can have my hand here if I need to, you know, and go that route. Uh, to put the blade back, we're just going to put our thumb here and push against that safety. That safety is right there. Like that. Um, boom. And then it's back. So as far as pocket nice, I would say this is in my top 2%. I can think of maybe one other knife that I have that's equal to this, but absolutely not better. Look at this right here. Check this out. I just like that black and chrome contrast. Um, I am really really liking this knife. I mean, I'm seriously liking this knife and I can see why they gave you this um, wrench here because we can tighten this up if we need to or anything else through there. So um, highly, highly recommend right now, 
This knife is selling for around $30, which is just a travesty because look at, look at, I have knives that are not even half this good looking that have been four and $500 uh, from some of your larger companies, your OEM companies, companies that you're more familiar with. So as this company continues to grow in popularity, you're going to notice that knives like this um, are going to go up and up and up and up in value. You know, this is just something that you want to buy. You may want one for everyday carry and then one just to put like in a drawer and to keep because that is just a beautiful uh, piece of art. It really is a, a, a craftsmanship and oh my goodness, that is so sharp. It's not even funny. So highly, highly recommend. If you have an extra 30 bucks, um, you might want to get one of these. Absolutely might want to get one of these. Guys, I'm just blown away, not only with the knife, but also with the case, with the presentation, with everything. I mean, look at all the different things that they're giving you. They're giving you this beautiful box. They're giving you this beautiful, you know, this is something that you would get in a hundred or $200 pair of glasses, but it's there to wipe your knife off with that titanium coating. Um, the case, you even have a, a little place there if you want to put something there. I'm not going to keep the tool in there least it scratch my knife. So that's not going to be in there. I will put this in a uh, gun safe with all my other uh, gadgets. But look at this. This is just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And this would be a great gift for someone. You know, if you have a, a some pal that's been rocking to you, helped you move or something, you may want to get him one of these because he'll be absolutely impressed. And again, I don't know if you can see that, but this case has like this titanium finish that kind of glistens in the light. And so, highly recommend, and remember the lion. All right, thanks, guys.